All right, hello everyone. This is Delon 75 again. Now this is part two of the cheese roll that I have to finish completing. But we have to put the dough in the refrigerator to make it cool. And this is one of my favorite songs playing in the background, Tears of Fears. I play this so much that my daughter loves it. So once it's finished, you'll hear it over and over because she will repeat it. So now we're going to roll this dough and take it out the bag, cut a piece of the section, and roll it out with the rolling pin. I have my pans over here ready. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to lightly put flour on the counter, then you put the dough down, flatten it out, do it on the other side, flatten it out. Once I roll it out, it's going to be very wide. So I'm going to sprinkle the flour so it doesn't stick. Here, I fold it out flat and wide like a pizza. So once you do that, you're gonna cut it into quarters. You're gonna cut it evenly. I usually start from the center. And then I go across. Okay, DJ. Mommy's making cheese roll. I get rid of the excess. These are the excess, I just cut it off. Put those to the side, because you can use it again. Okay. It's Elizabeth controlling the music on the refrigerator. She loved this song so much. So do I. Okay. Now you get the filling. Scoop it up with a spoon. And just put it down. You don't want to put too much and you don't want to put too little. Oh, and by the way, once this is finished, before you put it in the oven, you have to coat it with eggs. Oops, 
I forgot to. Okay, now that is completed, I'm going to roll it up. Okay, so I roll mine like this and press it as I go along. Roll it again, and afterwards, use a fork to enclose it. And I flip it over, and I press it as well. Okay. And then you poke holes in it. On the top section, and then I place it into the baking pan, and I'm gonna continue that until the pan is filled. Okay, I completed rolling these sets. Oh, I forgot to put holes in one. In this one. Okay, and now you have to coat it. If you don't have a basin brush, I utilize a paper towel. And then you just coat it. Tap that on. Okay, these things are my favorite because I make it nice and spicy. If you like spicy food or spicy snacks, these are awesome. Then you're gonna put it in the oven at 300 degrees or however. Some people like to cook higher temperature. I like to cook at 300 degrees. So. Wash my hands. Dry. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on my oven. Oh, open up. Bake. 300. And start. So while my oven warms up, I'm going to start on the second batch because as you can see, I have maybe like two more batches I can make out of this. And of course I have that silver dough. They're still used to make patties as well. So. Alright, I'm going to start on the second batch while the oven gets hot. Okay. Here's batch number two. I'm gonna coat it Ooh. and put it into the oven. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna change this song to see you this since Elizabeth is outside. Let me ask you um, your career. This is Elizabeth. Why are you stepping away now? Well, Let's five see. years ago this month, actually, the 23rd of March, uh, I lost my wife in a car accident uh, about 30 seconds from our garage in Norman. Uh, she got ran over by a, a young uh, man that uh, obviously wasn't paying attention to his driving. And, uh, you know, they, there's no green. That's just my wonderful uh, family. Uh, it's kind of blurry. Here comes Elizabeth. She's gonna change it back to. Let's <laughs> rule the world. Okay, so I'm gonna put my second batch into the oven, and let it cook for about. 30 minutes, 25, say about 25 to 30 minutes because I have it on a lower temperature. Slow. Let's put on the timer. Timer on. Move back please, the oven is hot. Timer. Yeah, timer. So, I have a little bit more filling so I can make about maybe half a dozen and that'll be it so I hope you try the recipe and I hope it comes out well and you enjoy it's really a delight a delightful treat okay so thank you for watching until next time have a good day say goodbye everyone